Hello, my makeup loving friends. Welcome back. It's been a week, so that means we've a week's worth of makeup to talk about. Um, you will see some faces you have seen before with me. I have the lovely Tess. She has been on before. I'm going to link her channel down below. It's a proper multicultural um, episode this week. Tess from the States. We have the lovely Sylvia from the Netherlands. Sylvia, of course, I've linked her before on my channel. She has been on with us before and uh, she's wonderful. She has a Patreon. I'm putting that down in the description box. Check it out. It's not so fun. And we have Katie. She is from the UK, the United of Kingdom of I don't know, words are hard. And she has uh, the TikTok, because she's cool and she's relevant. No. Yeah, cool and no. relevant. And, no. and then there's me. Hi. Anyways, we have lots to talk about. We're gonna get straight into some general announcements. So, uh, I mean, okay, so the first thing is Lisa Eldridge was basically just saying there's going to be a little bit of a hold up in terms of her new release uh, due to like some shipping issues. But she also said that she has managed to secure a warehouse in the EU. So shipping to the EU will resume. Yay, well done, well done her. Um, there is also a new brand, a new indie brand, it's called Chaos Dirt, and that is coming out May 21st. There's this company called Seed Beauty, and they sued Coty and Kylie Cosmetics, and they are winning, or have won, a temporary injunction against KKW Beauty. So this could end up um, hampering a lot of their releases in the next while. And uh, Pi of Pydonia uh, tagged me in this again. Okay. Can I just say, Pat McGrath seems to be doing this an awful lot in their advertisements. This is getting really annoying. They have yet again used a beauty filter on their Instagram posts. Not okay. Particularly what they're trying to advertise is their blush. Major Makeup Labs, I've talked about them on this channel before in terms of their new releases. They're actually closing down which kind of, you know, is very sad. In totally different news then, uh, KVD is now on Feel Unique. Huh. So there you go. Lots, lots of newy newness. Um, that's it in terms of our general announcements. We got through that very, very quickly. But you know that I have uh, five million people to thank. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a sharp inhale of breath and get into it. Huge thank you to Brianna, Becky, Ali, Gillian, Anna, Daniela, Chrissy, Manuela T, Massa, Beth, Lauren, Ma Marie, Christine, Jade, Romy, Tia, Shalina, Heather, Shahina, Sue, Tess, Chris, Cheryl, Chloe, Shanna, Missy, Laurie, Zara Louise, Franca, Matty, Heidi, Nisha, Rebecca, Gina, Amy, Bernadette, Samantha, Sonia, Cecily, Hayley, Sylvia, Janine, Pi of Pydonia, Sarah, Megan, Opal, and Kim. I want to say a very big thank you to my Patreon, three of whom are here today. I much appreciate you, uh, you know the general crack. It's it's been it's been an experience. Also, um, because it has been a weird couple of weeks, I'm an idiot and forgot things. So I managed to forget some birthdays last week because my brain is smooshy. So a belated birthday to Anne Marie, Chloe, uh, Melissa, Laurel, and Sarah, and a proper happy birthday then to Heather, Dawn, Manuela, and Missy. I hope you have had and will have a very good day. And uh, I also want to say uh, to Rebecca, who was meant to be on with us tonight, hope you feel better, love you lots, and uh, lots of love also to our girl Jade. Um, she's had a trying week, I'm not gonna say what it was, but we love you lots and we're here for you and all the all the smooshy love. Um, our theme this week is bridal because one of my favourite people in the entire world, Maeve, is getting married on Friday. So as this episode is actually going up, she'll have been married for less than 24 hours. She is a Sadie, a married lady. <laughs> so we went for a bridal theme this week. Can't you tell? <laughs> yes. So, um, as per usual, my Patreons have smashed it out of the park. Yeah, I mean, it's a pity that none of them are very talented, but sure, you know, it's, 
It's a tough I'd marry them. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful harem of people in there. But yeah, we'll just get straight into it because, I mean, there's a five million things to talk about. XX Revolution. Yes, you know the ones. They are coming out with eight palettes. Now, we don't know what price they're going to be yet, but I would guesstimate around £15 because they have ended up being higher price. Uh, Revolution, just do a month, nothing. Yeah. It would be so nice. There's so much and you can't keep up. And I don't want to keep up because the last one I've got was the Disney and Beauty and Beast. And it was awful. The worst quality Ooh. I ever had from them. I mean, it, it was real bad. It doesn't seem to be a vision for any brand anymore. It all yeah. seems to be an amalgamation of bleh, bleh. It's been a huge disappointment from start to finish, I'd like. And nothing about it that they release makes me think, oh, nope. I must try that. I want that. I need to go and put that in my basket. Nothing. Yeah, I even felt, you know, they came out with that pastel palette there two or three weeks ago. It felt almost like they were trying to relive that initial launch of, that works the first time. Yeah. Maybe if we just tweak this ever so slightly, we'll get people interested again. And I was like, well, not really how this no. works. And I think this is what they're trying to do again, because the X Extravaganza did do really well. People really yeah. liked that. Myself included, I actually think it's a very good palette. And I think they're trying to redo that and kind of be like, look here, we have our little mini monochromatic yeah. capsule palettes. They just don't have the depth necessary no. for, for any sort of like really good integrated looks. We've seen from the likes of Juvia's Place, you can 1000% have a six pan palette and have it be really comprehensive and all that you need without having to go into another palette. But for a lot of those palettes, the blues, the pinks, I need another palette to go in. Yeah. That's going to be enough. And, sure. and the pictures don't look like a real product. They look like a Photoshop mock-up. The colours are flat, non-dimensional. Um, so if they're using that as their advert, that probably wasn't the best choice either. We have Makeup Revolution. They have a, a chunk of body products. So they have a, a body foundation, body fix setting spray, a blender brush, a body blur pore stick primer, body mattifying finishing powder, and a body perfecting makeup remover cloth. They're priced between £10 and £15. I initially was like, what the actual fresh hell is this? Why do we need foundation for our bodies now? What is actually going on? Now, I remember that Fenty a couple of months ago came out with their own foundation. And I think a lot of people were like, oh, okay. I was not no. one of those people because I was like, this doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But the lovely Brianna did actually point out to me because I'm not very good at perspective taking, um, that there are people out there who may be self-conscious about their bodies and may mm -hmm. want to, you know, shirk clothing but want to cover up scars discoloration etc and body foundation may be good for that and i was like oh yeah i forgot because i'm in a country that we don't really get rid of our clothes because it's always cold yeah, even if i get rid of my clothes i always feel that but then you have you can wear something that's like this when it's white and you put foundation underneath it then you have complete clothes cutting spilled of foundation and i just go eh. i just can't and for me it's just my face and that's it because i don't know it feels just wrong even though yeah, i have always... massive scars on my legs as well and it would be smart to put this on top of it but i just the fact that it's going to be sticky and and, and transferable yeah. and what now if you have a cute guy with you that wears some white pants because it's warm weather and then the white pants you're gonna have a layer right <laughs> yeah not my thing and not then it becomes the whole thing of like if you're going out for food or something and you're going to like say a place with like nice chairs what if you end up like leaving your imprint of your foundation <laughs> oh. on on the fabric <laughs> Like you're going to somebody's house and you end up just leaving imprints of your legs oh, God. on their couch. I suppose that's why they have like the mattifying setting powder. Exactly. That's and it. I would hope to God that the products that they, they give with it would help to prevent that. I don't really trust um, you know, no. Revolution right. to be that quality. No. The yeah. only thing is what surprises me about this is that I do think these kind of products have a place in like filmography. <laughs> models True. things like that and makeup artists right yeah. but once again i don't suspect that I, I would have actually thought the revolution pro would have come out with something like this yeah. because mm -hmm. makeup artists would use it right so I, I mean if it's good if it's actually good there are applications for this but yeah. i'm a little dubious of it being good it's not even like it's 
that affordable maybe i'm not, just losing my mind not, but 15 pounds yeah i'm a big and i do though. wonder now i am a big body how much is the bottle i will i use it like, if i got put on my body yeah, exactly like if you cover one of my arms yeah. there's a lot here you know but like, <laughs> yeah, the same. i think like yeah. fenty was what 20 something dollars or something like that and i'm like yeah. that's very comparative yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's and a high-end brand normally with good quality stuff. Yeah. Also, I do find it. Can I just say, find it really funny that they put in a primer for your body. Yeah. <laughs> it's just money for a rope, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. <laughs> like if yeah. you were, if you were to buy all of those, like six things, you'll oh my buy god, seventy seventy-two pounds. It's a lot of money. This is, oh God. This is Joanne's beauty. Really? Oh and this God. is the Mexico palette. So there are two different palettes. How do I store this? It's so bad. Yeah. Like, I've seen some badly shaped palettes in my time. Yeah. Like really bad. But this is the worst. I think yeah. the thing that actually offends me the most is the little tail end bit. Yeah. That I'm like, totally good. Why? I know that they're doing this because it's like it's Mexico, okay? Like this is that's how Mexico physically looks on the map. I would not have known that this is what Mexico would look like. If I wanted to know what Mexico looks like, I'd look on Google. I wouldn't want to buy it in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. So true. My question is: Are is this brand going to come out with a palette for every country? I think can so. we slot them together then? <laughs> and like until you eventually that. come up with your own map and you're like here's the pacific ocean here's <laughs> hawaii and then you, know, you, you have a dedicated room and you're like okay let's go over to the mexico palace <laughs> like, is that, like if, if that's it okay fair yeah it's i just my poor brain um, yeah. so let's uh let's uh this but better right so let's say you want to do something that honors Mexico history, Mexican culture, or whatever. You can do this, this color scheme, these, these names, all of this stuff. Do this exact palette, but do it on a Mexican flag shape. Yeah, that's a square shape. It's still exact. That's what they did. They did the Mexican flag. You can still yeah. do that and have it be usable. You yeah. Know? yeah, and it, you know, it, whatever. It's hugely rich culture. You know, there's so yeah, much very, very rich. Yeah. Especially, this just does not do that. This next one, I, I didn't think this was Morphe at all. So this is Morphe collaborating with Makeup by Ariel. And I mean, it's really funny because on Trend Moves post, it says includes two luxurious sets. And that's kind of what it looks like. They do look really luxe. Although I will say, mm -hmm. can I just say, when I saw these, I thought KKW. Exactly yeah, what I was thinking. Brushes. Exactly what I was thinking. Um, they've definitely gone for that aesthetic. So there's the signature look 12 piece face and eye brush set that's $98. Or you can oh get yeah. my God. Yeah. $98 for Morphe. Thank you. Because when I was looking at that, I was like, that seems very expensive for Morphe. Yeah. These are going to be on sale within a month. Oh, oh they will. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. I will say though, anytime Morphe ever seems to do a collaboration with anyone on their brushes, they tend to be very good brushes. Yeah. Because if you true. buy Morphe by themselves, with the exception of the 562, love the 562. Yeah. But $98 is a Oh, it's a lot of money for a bottle. Then I prefer it. having a oh, Janora oh James Charles set or a, or a Jacqueline Hill set. Brushes to me are almost like lashes now, where I just can't, I'm finding myself unable less and less to spend copious amounts of money on them yeah when i can go get insanely quality brushes for nothing like i mean yeah. just up brushes are more quality than anything i've ever yeah. tried yeah and they are one fourth the price of this yeah. like yeah, true. maybe if you are a fan of this artist you know makeup by ariel you'll go and do it because you want to support that artist yeah that I can understand, but yeah. I mean, otherwise I don't understand ninety. But it's just the brushes, right? It. it doesn't even have a palette oh, or anything. No, so it's the the twelve piece brush set for ninety eight dollars, mm -hmm. or you can get the eight piece eye set for forty eight dollars. So does that mean the four face brushes are fifty dollars? Apparently. In oh. addition to that, Morphe have another palette. This is the eighteen H Sweet on Hue Artistry palette. 
how dare you how dare you bring in my love of puns and screw it up in this way um yeah. this twenty dollars right i'm looking at this and i get it you look at pastel thing as a whole vibe or whatever I don't get it for me because it never looks right on me. I look a bit yeah. odd in them. I am also having flashbacks to the 35i, yeah. which was a previous collaboration of theirs. And that is in one of my makeup regrets. I hate that palette with fashion. They don't seem to be able to do pastels very well, allegedly. Um, no. Says I. I don't think it's the absolute worst color story, but I'm like, they've no. done this before. Yeah, but that not only, but if you looked at the second set of arms and then look at the, the gorgeous dark color, the three first shades are exactly the same. Yeah. The, the duping themselves in the yeah. palette. Yeah. And then the pastels, even on, on, on the dark skin, I don't know how that, that is photoshopped. No oh, chance okay. in yeah. hell it would look that good on say, dark skin. Actually, is that pigmented? I like this palette. This yeah. palette is pretty. I like the color. That blue, I'm going to tell you that blue, it's seen. Yes. yes. It looks really nice. I don't trust that it's going to be but, just pigmented. So. No, <laughs> no. It just looks. Well, it just ex looks exactly the same on all three skin tones, and that's feel shocking. Like disappointment waiting to happen. Yeah. 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 I've been burned too many times yeah. before. Carly Bible has collaborated with Il Maquillage. So there's quite a few things. There's the Moonstruck Face Palette, and they come in three different shades, light, medium, and dark. There's two lipsticks. There's two lip liners. There's some brushes. There's lip bundles. There's a palette bundle. It's a whole thing. Can I just say that orange this, the one with the orange. I know it's too dark for me. I know it. I know it in my orange. heart and my soul. But that orange, oh my God. And also those, the packaging, that gorgeous blue packaging with gold. I love it. It looks very luxe. The it's, packaging it's very luxe, gorgeous. but it's so pretty. And then you open it and there's so many space left to put more. Yes, I agree. Wow. I do I not need like... it so much. Amazing packaging. And it looks amazing. Then you open it and you think, Mm. Why couldn't I'm they missing. just make these two shades on the end a little bit bigger? Yeah. yeah. The layout's weird. Yeah. It's supposed to be three. There isn't really, is there? There's no. There's, there's, there's no medium. It's not nope. light with a slightly stronger pink and then this really lovely orangey gold. Pop. Yeah. That's what they've done. Yeah. But the dark one is also not, not dark dark. It's just no, tan. Dark. I think that the collection itself makes a lot of sense with Carly Bible. This is yeah, very that's true. much This is very her. her. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, true. Like, you can tell she had a, a, a good hand in this. This isn't like, oh, I've just arbitrarily slapped my name onto this. No, no this is really her. That's, that's true. Oh, okay. Sorry, I've gotten overly excited. This is BH Cosmetics. I'm going to say, I've been getting more and more excited about BH Cosmetics over the last couple yeah. of months. Do it! Because they have just been showing themselves have a really strong formula, some really strong ideas. And this is their newest collection. And it's their Say It collection. And there's a lot of stuff in it. There's six different eyeshadow palettes. They're $15 each. Now, I can't say the names of a lot of these because I would get demonetized but they are lovely they also have like a brush set and then they have some sheer glosses okay if you know me you know that i'm looking at the greeny palette that says let that go and i am also looking at f off because i'm also looking at do not disturb do not disturb is the one i want i yeah. love it oh I mean, like Katie was saying, the optimistic AF that looks really nice because it's very hard to get a good yellow yeah. eyeshadow. Yeah. And um, too neutral. BH, yeah. BH have shown that they can do a good yellow before. Yeah. Their yellow from the trendy in Tokyo, perfection. Oh. Really, really good. I really trust them at this point in terms yeah. of the way that yeah, they're Yeah, really doing things. good at the moment. Yeah. I just, and I think this is just fun. Like, yeah, and I also love the fact that the packaging and even the lip glosses. The uh, and the brushes are just works all so well together. Yeah, it's a good price there's, point. Yeah. There's a reason why they're in my top five brand video. <laughs> I think on Friday when I get my money, I'll go on BH I and support you on this. Yeah. So guys, if you want to see um some stuff on this BH Cosmetics uh, stuff, 
do check out Sylvia. I've linked yep. her channel down below. Also check out her Patreon. You know, the general chat. I, I also want this, but I can't just try it at the moment because, you know, this is Lethal Cosmetics. They have three new six pan palettes. They are 26 euros each. And they have some liners, which are 16 euros each. So there's the Destiny palette, which is cool toned. They have the Roots palette, which is like the greeny, bluey one. And then they have the Memento palette, which is kind of more the peachy colored one. I really like Lethal Cosmetics in terms of their formula. I think they're yeah. actually really good. I really like seeing a European indie brand doing yeah. well. I think, and not enough people talk about this, their liquid lipsticks are really okay, I've never tried it. I do want more. Since since Son the gorgeous Sonia sent me some uh, lethal cosmetic shadows, they are so amazing. Mm -hmm. And I know if I look at these, these are bet, bet they're all going to be in singles as well. Yeah. Because um, I don't think these palettes have enough depth. But the fact that they are going to get in singles, I don't care. Yeah. I just get the singles and mix it with other stuff, which I love about lethal, to be honest. Yeah. And I'm really interesting in the in the liners as well because they they look so amazing. The colors look so amazing. So I'm yeah, really like curious. It's not I mean, how good the color thing. selection for the liners. It's interesting. Yeah. I really yeah. like their brand. I just uh yeah. like the, the quality is there. Yeah. Like I said, people do not talk about those bloody liquid lipsticks enough. Anytime I wear them in an Instagram post, like I have a lovely green one from them, and people are like, Where yeah. did you get that? And I'm like, Lethal cosmetics. Yeah. And I also have this beautiful purple from them. Check them out because they have some really interesting, colorful yeah. lipsticks, and they are so comfortable. This next one then is from Glam Light. This is their Red Velvet Cupcake Palette. It is $25. Really good price. Can I also say, this is quite a good replacement for anyone who decluttered their Jefferson Starship Blood Sugar or who isn't comfortable with using yeah. it. I will say though, $25 for that. That's yeah. not bad. And the and quality is amazing. Is... Let's this one is amazing. So I'm oh, assuming, and Glam Light's oh. quality is really good. So that's good. But yeah, for me, I wouldn't get it because I've got the miracle. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is me. enough because I don't like red. And it, I mean, I can appreciate the pretty color story. Oh and yeah. Had, yeah. Said for people that love those colors, but for very definite reasons, would never want to purchase off a certain person who shall not. Yeah. This is oh, a more fantastic alternative. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. This and is a... a lot less money. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. This is a win. I I love Glam Light. Their formula is yeah. insane 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 much it's just gotten better and better with time um i think it's a good thing it goes right in line with all of their you know the ice cream and yep. the cookies and i think it's perfect for all that such a good replacement for blood sugar yeah um, yeah that's for sure yeah i probably will be getting this yeah yeah so I, keep an eye out on tessa's channel yeah Next thing we have to talk about is ColourPop. They're so very lovely collection. So there is the eyeshadow palette. There are some super shock blushes. There's some lippy sticks and some cream gel pencils. Let's be real. They're all like a good price. But when I saw this eyeshadow palette, I thought, oh, I thought we already had one like this. Yeah. We did. Wasn't it the garden one? one yeah. The yeah. Garden. I mean, there was more green tones in that, but there was yeah. a definite. Yeah. yeah. What, what it is about this that made me go, oh, is not the makeup, it's the aesthetic. Yeah. The layout yeah. of the product. I was like, ooh. The yeah. packaging is so That's beautiful. So lovely. Yeah. So lovely. But it's actually, if you take the shadows out, it's Colourpop again doing Colourpop, but it looks yeah. really nice. The, the advertising is fantastic. Yeah, but I think yeah. Colourpop and packaging are so, are good. Yeah. They're knocking that out of the park. I love uh, even the, the Animal Crossing packaging. Uh, I'm not a fan of Animal Crossing, but just, just the aesthetic looks nice. That's yeah. what I think Colourpop knows how to make their yeah. packaging. And, and even though it's it. a repeat palette, you'll still think, oh, but the packaging is so nice. We have more stuff from ColourPop and they're getting in on the whole face and body makeup as well because they have also included some foundation for face and body. They have 12 shades and they are also coming out with a brush. So they said that it's coming soon, but we don't have a price, but I guarantee they're going to be less than the, the Makeup Revolution one. They will be, or they'll be at the exact same price point. Also, I like the fact that they call it face and body, which means yeah. it is usable for both. 12 shades. Yeah. Look at the color range on that. Yeah. Much with just 12 shades. Yeah. 
Look at that. Look at that dark shade. Yeah, it's not about the number of shades, but it's about the the range of yeah, the exactly. shades. Exactly. And the depth. Yeah. In court, then. As long as Naima can wear it. Yeah. Because yep. uh, she's one of the darkest people in makeup at the moment. And I think as long as she can wear it, you're good. Yeah. But well, I, I just so ended up thinking of Lupita Nyongo. And yeah. Like, will it fit her? And if it doesn't, they need to go back and do better. Yeah. Yeah. Then the next thing we have is Spectrum. You know the ones who do the brushes? They have their pinch pots. So they say it's for freshly pinched cheeks, you know, for when your parents or your weird aunties to pinch your cheek to make you blush. Which is a weird concept, but there you go. Five different shades. Uh, delighted, inspired, playful, uplifted, and joyful. They've already launched. They launched today, so I don't know exactly what the price point is. But the colours are nice. Yeah, I, I, fancy I would be interested in trying one if, if they would send them to me. Yeah, the colors are stunning. And I I think the whole world at this moment is really into liquids, liquid products, liquid blushes, yeah. everything liquid. So, yeah. And I'm for that because that yeah. suits me down to the ground. Now, I've never yeah. tried anything in terms of makeup from Spectrum. Like, I have their brushes, but there's never been I have one eyeshadow palette. Yeah, see, I've never looked at their makeup and gone, this, I need this. But I like, I like this. I'm not going to go out and buy it because I have plenty of stuff here. Don't need more. <laughs> really yeah, don't need and, and, and Spectrum but is neutral. The packaging is, it, it looks tactile. It makes yeah. you want to pick it up and touch it. Yeah. yeah. My fingers do this. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. one fellow from... And there's a couple here that I would like to try. It is the price that makes me... Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's so dependent upon the price. Do you know what? If it was like, say, £15, I would get it. Then we have Artist Couture, and they have a couple of different things coming out. They have a multi-use beauty powder in five different shades, a prep and glow blurring perfection primer, and a silky lip oil. So I got a lot of tags in these particular things. For me, this is not anything that I would have ever even no. looked at twice. No. Or nope. now. Yeah. But no. you guys tagged me in it, so I guess to talk about it. <laughs> Look, when we're looking at, say, the, the powders, let's be real, right? They're saying it's a multi-use powder and it's meant to be lightweight yet buildable. But if it is buildable, what about that shade range? Yeah. yeah for, sure. for something that is artist couture that is meant to be for pro makeup artists. Yeah. You need all the colors. I want to get that. I don't yeah. want to keep saying this every week. Yeah, if you but it's true. The, if you look at the, the release pictures, yeah, they've actually changed the shading on one of it to make them look that they're darker than they actually are. The swatches are different. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's like they're trying to look like they've given you a really strong range. They actually haven't. I haven't. Now, you guys tagged me in this, and I'm very glad you did. This is Fatal Beauty, and they're releasing a new collection. It's called the Ghoulie Girl Collection. <laughs> There's the Demon Diva Palette, the Frankenslay eyeshadow palette, which is $17. And they've also given a sneak peek of some more ones. And apparently, you can get the bundle together for $78. Oh my God, the oh. Frankenslay palette. I love it. I love it. I do too. Okay. I thought, I you, were gonna, I thought you were going to ream on this, and I'm like, oh, God, I love no 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 I love it I think the Frankenslay palette is like a more paired back version of the Shroud Cosmetics it's yeah. Franken Bats palette yeah can I, I have a moment though because as beautiful as the innards are the innards. outside artwork looks like a CD borderline GCSE art portfolio and I do not like it I think they've done these palettes dirty with these kind of terrible portraits on the outside I, I have a personal hate for these kind of portraits on, on so I'm probably biased but I just I don't think they're making the best of what's inside which mm. is really interesting and exciting and yeah. nice I and will say kind of looks like oh I mean I will say I have seen much yeah much worse packaging oh yeah definitely <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Look at this one called Drop oh. Dead Gorgeous. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. I mean, it's just again the yellow in Demon D. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I just there's do you know what? I think as well when I'm looking at say even like the, the drop dead gorgeous palette that they sneak peeked, I look at that and it's giving me Beetlejuice vibes. Yeah. I yeah. know that's not what yeah. they were necessarily going for, but I'm straight away thinking of them in the waiting room. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm thinking of. 
I I yeah. love this. I think it's a really darn good price point. I'm, I'm I I like it. You know, actually, my biggest one is I'm not a fan of the vampire one. I think they could have done a little bit more with the vampire one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe just like a deeper tone in there. A I black agree. Would have been good. But can I also say that vampire one really, really good uh, potential incomplete dupe of the Menagerie Cosmetics uh, Flight Club palette, oh. which is impossible to get. Next thing we have then is Pink Honey. So apparently they have come out with their Wonder Whip and Wonder Wand. All I can think of is Cool Whip, Cool Whip, uh, Wonder Whip. So there we go. So apparently they have like a 10 gram honey pot and it comes in five shades. The little honey pot, 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 pot is £9.99 and the wand is going to retail for £3.99. They're available now. The packaging they've obviously updated. I think the packaging looks really good. Yeah. I do think Winnie the Pooh would love this. Yeah, yeah because um, I know a lot of packaging. There have been several things around... Uh, how customers are dealt with that doesn't sit right with me no nope. and while I love to see an independent brand doing well and I never nope. want to wish bad things nope. Nope. I I just mm, I can't see myself putting my money towards them until they start to show some sort of growth like yeah. personal growth as a human being yeah um but yeah it, it's not for me I know nope. I have brows they're there. And the very last thing that we're going to talk about in depth is Benefit. Oh, of course, you know, innovating as per usual. <laughs> this is their Hula Contourist Matte Powder Bronzer Face Palette. What the actual hell? Right, oh. you cannot say that this is contour because these are no. bronzers. You need to have cool tone to contour. I but not only, but I can use one shade of this. You can use one shade of this. What do we do? That's what we do, Sylvia. So we get the palette between us yeah. and then we like, you know, de it. Yeah. But my, my issue is they're saying it's a contour palette, but it's actually called yeah. bronzers. They're not contour. Bronzers. That's not only, but on the packaging it says contourist, on the text next to it it just says powder bronzers. No. Yeah. How can you have a contourist matte palette with powder bronzers? Yeah. You know what palette. I want from Benefit. I know what I want from Benefit and they won't do it. I want Benefit to give me minis of each of these yeah. in powder form. And what yeah. I also want them to do is give me a cream version. I want to see them do cream yeah. versions of each of their hulas yeah. or their to see if they can yeah. walk the walk and talk the talk because there are some benefit products that I like. I do yeah. like hula light, it works for me. But the problem is, as you said, the rest of the hula palette palette no i can't i'm i look like i've been dug up i'm so pale i look like i've been deceased yeah same this will not work give me some cream products give me minis i can chuck in my handbag stop yeah. throwing things out that none of us want the only people i could see potentially getting this bronzer palette it is not a contour palette is potentially a makeup artist yeah that's it that's the only that's that's exactly what i was gonna say the yeah. only audience this is good for is somebody who does this on other people yeah that's it in terms of the new makeup releases so that means that we are skidding on in to the lightning round and we're going to get through this sh1t as quickly as we possibly can jessup have some new brushes so this is their nine piece turquoise collection beauty marked cosmetics moonlit spirit palette very halloweeny but there is a cat on it so i'm not against it we then have collection cosmetics and they have their incredible brow primer and setting wax and that is available now we then have Glam Vice Cosmetics and their four summer liners. So quite tealy coloured. Some more liners just for our girl Rebecca. This is Glisten Cosmetics. They said that they were collaborating with 12 different artists to come up with split liners. And here are their split liners. They're £22 each. You know my feelings on split liners. I'm not going to. Awful. Awful. Lawless then have a new mascara. It's apparently a clean mascara, whatever that means. And that's available May 25th. Primer have these cute little... Oh, yeah. It's so cute. That's what I'll get you from, from Penny's Primark, if they have them where I am. Then the next thing we have is Magical Makeup. They seem to have some more multi-crumbs heading our way. Then Amy Lee Cosmetics. Not Amy Lee from Evanescence. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with this. This is their Pride collection. That really makes me mad. 
I just think fade into you. Right. I, I have a lot of feelings on this, right? A, very, very clear that this is white label. We saw this from the l &B Boutique and Cosmetics not that long ago. I get very angry when when brands do a pride collection and none of the proceeds are going to any LGBTQIA yeah. plus yeah. organizations. Yep. That pisses me off. Yeah. Really? Yep. And I would prefer everyone just buy Fade Into You from Colourpop instead of this. Yeah. Not only that, but it's the exact dupe of Colourpop for what? The you know, same, same price or more? Yeah. 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 I mean, and you know, Colourpop is good quality. I've never tried them. These. Yeah. I just, I don't, I don't like it when people are using a marginalized community. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That. If you use a community, then I sent them money. Period. Well, and I'm not saying all of the money has to go to it. No, it's 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 to, 10 or 20 percent if you don't want to, but at least give a little bit back if you use their name and yeah, their their yeah. Stand that profiteering yeah. on pride, and we've seen it before. We've seen bigger yeah. brands do it before, and I, it has annoyed me then as well, and it annoys yeah. me. Now. I'm done. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Mm. And no was. We then have Glitter Bang Cosmetics and they have these four new shades of, I think like a glittery product. Looks strange. Then Do Color have this 48 color eyeshadow palette for $36. Oh. $36 for that random looking really awful, yeah. powdery, weird color. Oh, it looks very washed out. That's more Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Makeup Scientist Cosmetics then have their peach tree dish palette yeah oh, awful yeah it's not even peachy color it's red <laughs> make it peachy color <laughs> but they wanted to make a pun but didn't think about the pun we then have the dagger beauty they have their holy collection and it's six shades of liquid lipsticks they retail for 20 dollars each i will say the packaging looks very much like awesome. the baton. Yeah. I thought that's what it was. I thought it was Louis Vuitton. Yeah. And I, love love it. It. and I love that really, really dark, yeah. browny, purpley, oh, aubergine. I want yeah. Mm. I really want these. I think these are interesting. Yeah, I want them. Yeah. They're, I Those think are pretty. They're actually it's in my cold black heart. I like them. Oh, yeah. I love the packaging and I love the dark colors. Oh, exactly. That's a complete black, I think, as well. Oh, yeah. I want that. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't even care if it's bad quality. I just yeah. want to pack it in. Same thing. <laughs> like I yeah. feel, I feel like this is the sort of like the woman who owns this has like really long, cool acrylic nails and just reaches into a very expensive bag. Yeah. Just oh. out and goes, Jeffrey, have him disposed of immediately. <laughs> yeah. like, that, that's what I feel like when I see that. And it's oh, mm. yeah. I love it. I love the packaging. Yeah, I love it. It's a whole thing. Then we have Pretty Grim Cosmetics and they have four liquid lipsticks. They're $9 each. I like the look of this next one. This is Lovecraft Beauty. They have two new palettes. There's the oh. Baked Rituals and then there's the Warm Rituals palette. They're $35 US each. Now, I think they're too expensive for what they yeah. are. I like I like the look. Yeah, I like the aesthetic. I like the color scheme. I like, yeah. And then Dazzle Me did have a new palette. Uh, the highlighter palette is the Dark Fairy palette. $30. This one, hmm, this is Indica Boutique Beauty. And I talked to Manuela about this this week because we were talking, well, I didn't talk to her about this, but I talked in general about David Bowie because I love David Bowie. Bowie, Bowie, so, you know, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. I love David, uh, 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 <laughs> my little heart. And we were talking about him in relation to to the Urban Decay Prince debacle. Let us not speak of that. Wow. And I was saying, it's only going to be a matter of time. And Manuela was like, okay, if they do Bowie dirty, I'm going to be really annoyed. And I feel like this has done Bowie dirty. Why is it saying yeah. collection with Bowie? I don't see anything Bowie about it. No. The packaging is completely girly. I mean, Bowie is a man. And he well, was, like, I don't, mm, no. Androgynous and yeah. he defied yeah. gender norms. Like yeah. he was cool, he was revolutionary. The only thing that I can kind of see in there is like the red and the blue from like Ziggy Stardust and that's it. Yeah, that's just two colors in a whole palette. Even the packaging says nothing Bowie on it. There's so much that you could do with about it. Yeah. Like the print, don't start yeah. with the prints because I'm a prince obsessive. And this was just thing. a cash grab. Yeah. Prince would never no. ever let anyone use his. Exactly. He There's would so much you could do and this is not it. Yeah. It's not it. 
This is Pout and Shout, and this is their Choose Your Weapon, a complete face palette that has nine shades. Okay, I kind of, okay, right. This is, you know, the price, maybe 16 to 25 pounds, pay according to means. It's that brand, you know, that lets you pay whatever. Very strange. I, okay, you're not going to expect this from me, but I kind of like the packaging. I think it's kind of cute. It's because it's I get cat. why you were like, I hate it. I just hate it. <laughs> it's cats and they don't know it. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm just not, uh, yeah, no. Nope. But I get why you, I just, yeah, exactly that middle nose. I knew oh, this. And then the paw right next to it. I really, the left one looks, just looks like a weird scarlet vagina, but then again. I, I want it. I kind of want it. <laughs> okay, you buy it and tell us what you think it's like. I want it. Yeah, and just pay 16 because apparently you can choose. Then we have Bad Outfeeties and this is their MRE Nudes palette. It's 25 US dollars. We then mm. have YL Cosmetics and they have the LM collection. So they have an eyeshadow palette for $29.99 and then they have four styles of lashes. You can bundle deal for six lashes for $45 or you can put the whole collection for $59.99. So or you can save you yeah. money or not. I'm with Katie on that one. Then we have Copacetic Cosmetics. This is their June quad. Oh. There's one matte and three multi crumbs. <gasps> Those blues. I want it so oh, bad. Delicious. I really like oh, it. Then Daisy's baddest cosmetics, aptly named, have the Lola Bunny and Bugs eyeshadow palette. This is <laughs> all kinds of wrong. Oh, no, I, I, just... I keep thinking of space jam yeah i kind of don't know because we shouldn't have to think of space jam for makeup should we well but i i, I love lola bunny i kind of like the mirrors i don't think that's enough of a reason to buy no. oh no but gosh I just hated it that they made amazing mirrors and I love the packaging uh, of the shoe uh, with, the, with the bunnies on it. But why do that? Why did not make that exactly copy and just do it in a, in a square? Then we have Loca lashes and they have their mini little Loca's eyeshadow palette. It's $15. The Loca blush palette, which has two highlighters and four blushes. That's $25. They also have lip gloss and lashes. Then we have Butte by Bisco or Butte X Bisco. Never know how to say it. This is their prime done palette $35 needs to be edited Peachy Queen Cosmetics have their Align Chakra eyeshadow palette it's $29.99 is it a coincidence this is coming out when Pride is coming out then we have Lip Schmack which I've never heard of them before but I love their name Lip Schmack yeah. like that's, I, I, I'm for it but their palette, bleh. There's the Natural Goddess and the Million Dollar Palette. They're 25 US dollars each. Then we have Plur Cosmetics and their Underground Eyeshadow Palette. It is 25 US dollars. Linda Halberg has a blotting powder and it's 33 pounds. I just think it's so expensive for what it is. Yeah. Face Glaze is coming out with quite a few things. This is their Ghost Pigment Collection. And that's available for pre-order now. It's $210 for the bundle. If you have that money please adopt me yeah and buy it for me because yeah, yeah. i like the swatches i don't hate the uh, the, yeah, the, the actual the, hands themselves yeah. are really interesting but the yeah. swatches, are swatches really look beautiful. stunning and in addition to that they have a lot of stuff coming out they also have their duochrome fruit collection so they have six shades and you can get them together for 54 dollars. and they also have their five holographic pressed pigments and you can get all five of them together for seventy dollars. They don't really look like they're holographic. They more like look like they're metallic. So real makeup then seem to have like some liquid eyeshadow and some glasses. Fire Vixen lash have their stained glass glitter collection and their Vampira lashes. I love that box. I love. I that want pack. that packaging that. now. Yeah. I am here for the packaging. Then we have Cam Cosmetics and they have their Be Bold Not Regular eyeliner twelve dollars and they also have a hand mirror for fourteen dollars. Past roses have four new multi crumbs in marshmallow marope lacerta and lime twist we then have dior and they have two new lash products they're 29 dollars 50 each makeup maniacs have their riddle multi chrome eyeliner 
and don't hate it. The good molecules then have their glycolic exfoliating toner, $14. Grandy Beauty have nine new lip glosses because that's what we need in a global pandemic. The Slate Faces Cosmetics then have their metallic collection. So again, three new lip glosses in various shades of shimmers. Ofra have their glamorous glitch palette for $29. I feel like we've done this before. We have Shop Glamify, uh, who has collaborated with Kenya Beauty to release this collection. So there is the Corazon eyeshadow palette and there are two styles of lashes, $75 for the whole lot. Then we have Lily Posh Cosmetics and they are launching some single highlights. So there's four shades in Jamie, Tendrils, Dime Piece and Oh Honey. And that's coming out on the 1st of June. Jelly Wink Cosmetics have some new cosmic glitters they look like they're just loose secret what? i have those from from amazon you I've can got... get this way way cheaper from yeah. wish from amazon. or amazon that's five dollars 99 but they're also coming out with a couple of different diamond prismatic pigments so there's three shades there's marmite melty and evolette and it's not nice picturing no they yeah. also have tang azuri chiffon and cerulean then we have carla cosmetics they have their fantasy collection they have have four single loose eyeshadow pop in the shade Siesta Snooze, Night Terror and Lullaby. In addition to that they also have 12 pastel duochrome loose eyeshadows. They look so pretty and one day, yeah, one day Carla Cosmetics will be mine. Don't know how but they will be. 1999 makeup have their Get Your Ibiza Glow with these three face palettes. Not light, light, and light. Lancome then have their Drama Ink Liquid Lipstick, $28 in 16 shades. There's a lot of reds, don't hate it. Then we have Sparkly's Glitter Gloss and they have their Dream Cash Loose Eyeshadow that's available May 23rd. Touch of Glam have this Lucid Lavender available now for pre-order. Uh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Put this all over my face, please. Okay. It's making my heart beat a bit faster. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of heart beating a bit faster, this is Tammy Tanuka with Inspired Ooh. by Sigil. And they have 20 sets of, of different eyeshadows. Oh my God. Oh. These. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love this. I love also the way they, they, they promote it with the colors and the I pictures. And yeah, this works do. really well. Original, so uh, cool. amazing. I want all of them. Then we have a Glam Shop and this is their Cherubina face palette. So it includes a bronzer, a blush and two highlights. We then have Gail Beauty. And every time I think of Gail, I think of Lucy's cat, Gail, who hates her. So there you go. They have the five cliques. So each of these are lipstick bundles of three. So there's Delta's House, the Bell Bottoms, which is the yellow, purple and red. But then the one I'm interested in is the Grungies. So that is the like the navy, the green and the black. Yeah. And then they have the three nine sevens and the bougie babes, which are more like neutral. So yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Interesting. they're available now. We then have Pacifica Beauty and, and they have a vegan collagen fluffy lash mascara that's coming out on the 30th of May. Then Bella Beauty Blog are coming out with their matte lip veils. They're available now. Charmetics have four nude glosses and one clear gloss. Then Isla Cosmetics have a pink lip gloss, which apparently has a touch of gold, and that is available now. Notice Beauty have five new loose chameleons in the shades NYX, Phobos, Thebe, Telesto, and Janice. Glossier then are releasing their Ultra Lip, nine shades, $18 each. It has the sheen of a gloss. Oh, not for $18, thanks. We have Mel Anime Comfort and Beauty, and this is their Sweet Dreams palette, which is available mm. now as you're watching. Summer Candy Cosmetics then have three palettes. They're $31.20 each. There's the Peacock palette, the Featherly palette, and the Be My Lovebird palette. No, definitely not for $31. No. Then we have Away, and this is their limited edition deep cleansing sugar scrub. And then finally, we have Geek Chic Co. This is their Beach Battle Highlighter Palette. What about this is highlighting? Very confused. Very confused. What skin tone are these for? Aliens. Okay. It, yeah, it makes sense in that. Yeah. Um, that's it in terms of the new makeup releases, so that means we're on to the sneakest peekest. The little looketh under the bonnet of makeup we have shop elm street and their sacred heart collection this is their inferno lip tint i mm, don't like anything that has religious undertones i'm not a practicing catholic but i know a lot of people are and this would 
this is just so well as me. Joho Beauty have a pastel and drink inspired beauty brand, apparently. And this is their lip glosses. They're coming out 28th of May. Oh, oh the lip gloss. <laughs> yeah, we don't need more. Grunge Glow have their eyeshadow palette. There's eight mattes and four glitters. That's coming out June 2nd. Don't get it. Baby faced lashes have this American Me palette. This, the, the packaging looks very much like a secondary school art project. The CD Borderline GCSE art project. That's that got maybe a C. Yeah. Ooh, pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not. You have to see the rest of the project work to be certain. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, they really struggled with drawing humans, but they're better at drawing inanimate objects, you know? Then we have Lashes by Lena, and they are coming out with their Marvel series of eyeshadows, $19 each. I cannot tolerate Marvel eyeshadows. No, I hate them. I, I, in my head, my little lizard brain looks at them and goes, if I just watch that and put it on my eye, it would look like that. But of course it doesn't. And then I get disappointed because it's a smudgy brownie gun. Lorena Cosmetics have their California Love Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah. And maybe you can put this next to the Tokyo of the Mexico palette yeah. and see if it fits. Build your world. Look, again, I think this is a, a classic one of rainbow palette coming out around about the time of pride yeah. then we have feud beauty and they are coming out with a new brush case and six brushes then makeup maniacs are coming out with sleeping beauty which is a single eyeshadow this is coming out in the next two to three weeks yvette beauty are coming out with another liner palette i don't hate it but you know there are a lot of them dolce and gabbana are releasing two new products this is their luminous cheek color blush and a nude lipstick the packaging is really cute it's yeah. so cute i can't i'm not gonna buy it for that price but it's no. so cute then electrum cosmetics seems to be coming out with some liquid multi chromes those top two ones speak to my soul Oh, the, the pinky, purpley, bluey oh, is speaking to me. Then Indie Beat Cosmetics are coming out with their Chrome Tones set. So it's apparently named after the chromatic scale. Then Beauty Bay is coming out with something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but by the time this episode is up, you'll have already seen it. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah, it's okay. going to be just as disappointing as the last one for all. Yeah, come back for next week's therapy session. You know, we'll, we'll really try yeah. to uh, get ready, like air your grievances, maybe tag me in it and tell me what you think and I can talk about it, you know. We'll, yeah. we'll discuss it as a group. So I'm kind of wondering if this is part of the Beauty Bay thing that we discussed. Yeah. That maybe it's a collaboration between Tacey and, and Beauty Bay. So I don't know if I pronounced mm. that right because I don't watch any. No, her. no. Hey, she's so. Tace. Tace. Um, she's Welsh. Um, she is fabulous and very beautiful. So I would be really excited for her if she's got something going on with Beauty Bay. She's a fantastic queen and it would be phenomenal to see her get, I don't know, maybe her own uh, product or even be heavily featured in their advertising campaign. It, it would be huge for her. I would be yeah. really happy for her. And then our oh, Planet Revolution. Sarah, who is one of my Patreons, came up with this very, I think, cogent and coherent argument, which is, it's nice that you're thinking about sustainability. However, coming out with a sub-brand, when you already have a million sub-brands, it doesn't make sense. Make your, entire, so make your entire fleet be sustainable rather than having this sub-brand be sustainable because then it's yeah. virtue signaling. Then we talked about this last week where uh, the owner of Artitude Cosmetics is coming out with their own sub brand and this is by by Rooks uh, or by Rooks, not really sure how to pronounce it. I thought it was jewellery but it's actually going to be skincare. And finally we are getting another little sneak peek and I am not going to say it. A blush, because oh, that's how you pronounce it Mitchell, a blush. So it seems that we're going to be getting a new um, blush shade from Mitchell. But that's it. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, we are done. Uh, the mass has ended. You may go now in peace. Um, <laughs> oh, <where is that? laughs> um, but you know the general jazz. Uh, do please like, comment and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell if you like this sort of thing. Follow each of these lovely ladies. They are wonderful. Do please share because sharing is caring, unless, of course, it's an STD or other, some other sort of a transmissible disease, then, you know, wrap it up. 
a bit gross. Um, but that's it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.